If you're looking to launch your first online store, Shopify is an excellent way to do that, but getting started can be intimidating to beginners. So in the next 10 minutes, I'll show you everything you need to have a fully functional and professional online store. Now to get started, there's a special link in the description that gives you an extended free trial and a discount. You could also type in santrellmedia.com slash Shopify, and either one of those will bring you to a page that looks like this. From here, like I said, three days for free, then $1 per month for three months. Getting started is easy. All you have to do is enter our email address, click enter, and then we can create a password. Then we enter our payment details, and you can select a plan. Now, if you're just getting started, the basic plan is probably the one for you. I'm gonna try basic. Now you can share your business address or you could add this later in settings. Then customize your dashboard by answering a few of these questions and choose a name for your store. And that will bring you to your Shopify dashboard. The first thing I like to do here is add our first product. So if we go on the left side, click on products and then click on add product, we can name our product. We can add a description, add media, add a price, choose our inventory, and we can even add variants like size and color. Shopify has a lot of AI in it, so you can generate text for your description. It also automatically categorizes it down here, but you can always change this if you wanted to. And for your price, you can add things like unit price, you can charge tax, you can choose the compare at price. So if everyone else is selling the same thing for $19.99, you can add that right here. If you're selling digital products or if you're drop shipping, you can disable the tracked inventory. And for additional variants and colors, if you wanted to add, for example, flavors, Flavor now appears as a variant. You can click on that, and from here, we can add other ones. For example, strawberry. When I say done, we then have two variants here, and we can choose if we want to have different prices for them, and you can track the inventory separately. Additionally, you can add images for each one. And at the very bottom, you'll see how this will show up in Google. If you click on the pencil icon, you can edit this to change what the name is, the meta description, and the URL handle. This looks good to me, so I can scroll up to the top, Make sure the status is active, not saved as a draft. Make sure it is publishing to our online store, and then we can click on save. And just like that, we have our first product. On the left side, if I click on products, you'll see the first one is listed. It is now active. We can see the inventory, and we can see the channels in which it's being sold. I'll explain the channels in a minute. Now you can add more products later using the same process by clicking add product on the top right. And I'll talk more about collections and things like that later, but moving along, let's go down to online store. Shopify uses something called sales channels as different ways people can buy your product. Online store is one of them. Buying in person is another one. Maybe buying on Instagram or you know TikTok shop would be another one as well. So within online store, we can then select a theme. Shopify has been integrating a lot of AI with the custom themes right here, but I personally don't like those. I'll go down to the most popular themes, visit the theme store, and browse through nearly a thousand themes. You can also select just the free ones. Unfortunately, only 24 free ones, but still some pretty good ones. I think this one could be a really good match for our store, so I'll click on Origin. You can view a demo store, which allows you to click around, and if you like it, you can click on Try Theme. That will automatically add it to our store and it'll automatically bring you back to the themes page. Now you'll notice Horizon is still our theme because this one's being installed. Once you wait a few seconds, it should be done. And then down here, we can click on publish. That will switch out this theme for the other one. I can click on publish. And the reason they do that is because in the future, if you ever want to change your theme, but your store is already live, you can edit this and customize it and then just hot swap it in with just a little click. Now, nobody can actually visit our website right now because it is password protected. I like to remove the password early on so I can test it as I build the website. There, now we have a theme on our website and customizing it is very easy. Just click on the customize button on the bottom right and that will bring you into the Shopify editor. From here, we have a design tree on the left side that shows you each section. For example, the announcement bar is up here. The header is just below that. And on the right side, you can click on things and see what they are but usually I do most of my editing on the left side. So let's start off by adding our first product. Here is the featured product section. It outlines it in blue when I hover, and if I click on it, I can then select our first product. That'll bring us into the settings, and let's select our CitraGuard immune support product. Just like that, it shows us the product, it populates the name, the price, and everything else. People can add to cart or buy immediately. Now, maybe I don't like the design of this block, and below that, there is the color scheme. Now I can change this color scheme, based on ones that already came with this template, but usually early on in the design process, I like to add my own colors. So on the left side, if you click on theme settings, we can then click on colors, and you can customize all of these different schemes. So if I go to scheme one, you can change the background color, you can change the text, the buttons, and everything else, just by clicking on them and choosing the color that matches your design. Most websites are fine with just five schemes, but you can add another one if you'd like. Let's close this and go back to the sections on the top left. 
From here, I'm going to change this to Scheme 2, as I think it would look better with the white background. There are more advanced features down here that I talk about in my design tutorial, but for a beginning website, I think this looks really good. Let's go back, and let's talk about adding and removing sections. So, on the top, maybe I don't like this right here. I, on the left side, I can hover over rich text. I can then delete that. Additionally, I want to change how the header looks. I can click on header. Again, I can change the color scheme to scheme two, so it matches with white. And I can choose the position of our logo. Right now, top center, I think looks pretty good. I can click on back, and here I can click on announcement bar. The announcement bar is optional on the top, but if you want to have it, you can have multiple announcements that rotate through automatically, and you can choose how fast they rotate through. In order to add an announcement, I click on the little back icon, and I want to make sure you click on the drop down here to see the announcements that are available. So the first one just says, welcome to our store. Instead, maybe I want to say save 10% with code fall 10. And you can add a link as well to a product. So when somebody clicks on that, it just brings them into the checkout page. If you want a second announcement, you can click on the three dots here and duplicate this. Now, when we go back, you'll see we have two announcements and maybe the second one could be free shipping. Like I said, these will automatically rotate every five seconds. If we scroll down, we then have an image banner and instead maybe I wanna have a collection of different images of the product. Assuming this is only a one product website or maybe you could have other products or collections down here. So to add a section between these two, I could either add one on the bottom or hover right here for the blue line and click on that. From here, I can click on collage and that will add it right there. Once again, to edit this section, you simply click on it. We can change the color scheme of this. And anytime you click on it, that will change the settings such as the color. But if you click the drop down, you can edit the content that's actually in there. So we have an image. Let's change this. We also have a product. Maybe I'll change this. And we have an image. And much like the rest of the website, you can decide if you want to add or remove things by hiding them or clicking on the trash can, and that will change how your multimedia collage actually looks. Now, we don't want it to be called multimedia collage. So again, in the settings for this, we can click on that and we can change the text. Now, I'm just going to delete the other things on the bottom of the website and we can save this. You can access different pages on your website by clicking the drop down right here and then selecting the pages to edit those. You can also view this on mobile or on tablet views on the top right by clicking here to make sure it looks good on all devices. And if you wanna change something and you can't find the setting, you can click on this little guy right here. That's your sidekick. That's an AI assistant that can help you do things on your website. So if I wanna remove this on the bottom, I can just tell it to remove that. Now let's click save and click on exit on the top left. Making discounts for your website is also really easy. Going back to your Shopify dashboard, we can click on discounts. The first one that we showed in our banner was called fall 10. So let's create that discount. I'm going to amount off products. From here, we can call this fall 10 and we can make this discount percentage 10%. You could also make it a fixed amount in dollars and you can choose what it actually applies to. Let's find our product. We'll click add and now it's ready to go. You can also set limits down here for how many customers can use it or any other requirements. I'll save this and we have our first discount. There are other styles of discounts as well. So if I click on create discount, you can have buy one, get one. You can have amount off your order or you can have free shipping. Now we mentioned free shipping on our banner. So let's make this an automatic discount. That means that nobody has to type in a code in order for this discount to work. But for it to work, we could add a minimum purchase amount and let's just say it's going to be $25. I can save this and now that discount is also active. Now our store may look good right now, but there's some really important settings that we need to adjust. So on the bottom, if I click on settings, we can first go down to payments and set up Shopify payments. So click on complete account setup and follow these four steps to set up Shopify payments. So you can accept credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and things like that. Then we can click on shipping and delivery. And from here, you can set up pickup and store if you wanted. You could have local delivery or on the top, you have different shipping profiles. Make sure you add taxes and duties based on where you are. And of course, we need a domain for our website. So let's click on domain. We can click on buy new domain and they do recommend some down here. Alternatively, you could search for one. Apparently citrusgummies.com is still available so I can buy that and it'll automatically connect the domain for us. Now this is a good time to check your email and make sure that you verify that you registered your domain and your Shopify account. All these things are required in order for the domain and the website to work. Lastly, it's really easy with Shopify to make policies by going down in your settings, clicking on policies, and we can use the templates that Shopify already made. So the return and refund policy, I can click on insert template, I can click publish. Same thing with terms of service. Obviously you want to read these because these are your terms of service, but it's nice that Shopify makes these for us. 
And just like that, you have a Shopify store that's up and running with the product and ready to go. So congratulations, you now have a fully functional online store. You can view it by clicking view right here. You can see analytics on the left side. And if you have any questions about the next steps or some more advanced features, I have a one hour tutorial that digs into that or a one and a half hour tutorial that talks about Shopify advanced design. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your store and I'll see you in the next video.